Talk to us about after a race or really as you're kind of queuing up for a race, what, how do you really leverage your, your notion of a sensor and everything that you feel in that car to help the team really through the engineers have the car be better? And it always makes me laugh talking about something else here, but when people say Formula One is an individual sport, I, I don't think you can name another sport where you have a team uh, to reach an, a goal that is, that is uh, of about uh, 550 people, like, like you just mentioned. So you, have, you really need a good structure, optimize the, the, the working, uh, the, the work with them. Um, so basically how it works is that you have your own engineer, uh, the race engineer we call it. We have other, two more engineers, so three in total that works at the race weekend, but you have really this one and you always report to the same one. You wouldn't want the driver to go around the 500 people in the factory and say, oh, we should work on this, we should do that. It would, uh, wouldn't be efficient, uh, definitely. So we really have that person and that's the guy to who you say, look, I would like to improve this on the car. And then himself will speak to the appropriate people. And you need a, a structure, uh, otherwise you wouldn't work in a team of, uh, of more than 500 uh, people. Otherwise it would be chaos, all these different people talking to each other, there would be repeated information, information would get lost. It's kind of a lot, lot of the reason why we're in this business. It's making sure that businesses are optimized, dynamic, and that things can happen in, a, in an, eff an efficient and an effective way. Exactly, I think you don't, as, as a racing driver, I would not go to the, to the marketing department and start to say, you know, we should do this or do that, or, or even to the production, because this is not my role in the team. I have a specific role in the team, and I have to focus 100% on that and, and not on the rest. It just sounds like there's so many other opportunities as you work with the other drivers and with the engineers to really set, set a great strategy for Lotus Formula One. So maybe you can just talk about your goals and how you really are getting involved in delivering on those. What's, what's important for me now is to focus on, on the work I have to do with the team and I just, you know, just everything, all the energy I have is, is, is put so that the team will, um, will, if I can help and just perform as best as possible. This is, like you said, these 500 people working in the same direction. Every person is important. If, if any one of these 500 doesn't do its job properly, well, you have a high chance that the car is not going to win. And one role that the driver has as well in, in, in Formula One, not only driving and, and, uh, and you know, speak with the engineers, but I think it's a, it's a center point. But he has also to motivate the people. It's good for drivers to go to the factory and, and you know, show himself and, and show really the, that he's driven, he really wants to perform, because in that way, you will get the people to work. In the end, we're all humans, and, and you will get the people to work really everything they've got. And you'd really get to, to give the maximum and try to motivate the people as, as much as you can.